how's it going? Welcome to this um, extra cozy episode of Jared's videos. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great Christmas. Merry belated Christmas. I know I'm kind of a day late, but you know, it's okay. Merry, merry belated Christmas. I know this year has been weird. It has been strange. It has been tough for just about everyone, but I still hope you had a great Christmas. You know, maybe practicing social distancing, you know, doing, wearing masks, whatever you had to do this year. Hopefully it was, hopefully it was a great Christmas and uh, you got lots of good stuff for Christmas. So maybe this year for Christmas, it got some physical things. You maybe got a coffee cup or like some bar spoons or like an arrow press or like anything listed up in this video. Maybe you got a bunch of physical stuff like that. But then again, maybe you, you know, maybe you got a grandparent, a generous grandparent. And every year for Christmas, they like to send you the green stuff. Okay, in all seriousness, maybe you got a little bit of cash for Christmas and you don't know what to do, you know, with your cash. Maybe you, you like cameras and you like video stuff and you want to kind of step it up a little bit. But at the same time, you're trying really hard not to break the bank. This video is for you. We're talking about this. The Rode VideoMic NTG. So before I get too far into explaining why I think this is a good purchase to make, let's unbox it real quick. All right, so the VideoMic NTG. And first things first, here is the actual video mic itself you can see. Let's pull that little puppy out. There it is, ooh. Wow, it's a lot smaller than I was expecting. It's also very metally, which I like because that kind of fits the vibe of the regular NTG mics anyways. The video mics, the video mic pro plus and the micro and all those, those are typically kind of plastic, but I like these aluminum housings on the video mic NTGs. Obviously it comes with your standard little windsock. You've got some, uh, you've got some adjustments there. You've got what I believe is a volume adjustment right here. You can kind of adjust the gain or the intensity of the microphone. But what's nifty is you can actually take it out of the mount like that and then mount it onto, you know, a, a microphone stand or something like a typical NTG would mount. All right, sweet. So far so good. I'm really digging this. Let's, uh, let's test it out real quick. Alright, uh, we're downtown Monroe right now, in between some kind of, you can see that, some pretty tall buildings. This is the Video Mic Pro Plus. It does have the kind of updated fuzzy windsock on it, so it might be slightly better when it comes to resisting wind. I know this microphone sounds good. I've used it a thousand times. I shot well over a hundred days worth of vlogs with this microphone, this exact camera setup as a whole, so I'm very familiar with how it looks, how it sounds. It's a, it's a good setup. Now this is the Video Mic NTG. I just pulled this little puppy right out of the box, put it on the camera, plugged it in, and hit record. I haven't changed any settings on the, on the microphone, so whether or not it sounds great or it doesn't sound good, I have no idea. But what this is about is how good does it sound in a vlogging setup, run and gun. If you're running a gun and you're just grabbing it out of your bag, putting it on the camera and filming, so should be a pretty, pretty fair test. I'm curious to see how much wind noise it's picking up because, like I said, the wind sock that's on the Video Mic NTG, it's not as good as the wind sock that's on the Video Mic Pro Plus. But again, I upgraded the wind sock on the Pro Plus, so not exactly a fair fight, but. Imagine it's doing pretty okay. Okay, so I've got to be honest. I don't hear a tremendous difference, which I'm kind of shocked by a little bit. Not shocked at a lack of performance or anything on the Video Mic NTG, but shocked as in how well the Video Mic Pro Plus held up to the NTG. I mean, this mic is like brand new. It's been out for maybe a year. The Video Mic Pro Plus has been out for I don't know, three or four, maybe even five years. I mean, it's been out for a minute now and it's still a great sounding microphone. I did notice that this microphone is just the slightest amount more bright, I guess might be the word for it. It just has a little clearer sound, a little more clarity, especially in like the, the high mid area. Also, it's worth noting that it held up to the wind pretty well, again, Pretty surprised because the Video Mic Pro Plus, like I said, has that upgraded windsock on it. This is just the standard out of the box windsock, and I mean, it sounds pretty fantastic. So, this entire video so far has been recorded with the Rode NTG5, which is kind of my go to microphone whenever I'm filming here in the apartment. But I kind of want to 
I kind of want to pit it up against the video mic NTG and just see who comes out on top. This little guy is going to have to sound pretty good to be better than the NTG5, but I mean, so far it really seems to be holding its own. So well, I'm, I'm going to hook it up real quick. All right, this is the this is the video mic NTG. How does it sound? Is it better than the NTG5? Honestly, it just depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something that's going to be crazy convenient to use, 1000%. This is super convenient. And what I mean by that is when you set up the NTG5, it is an XLR output out of the microphone. So your standard microphone cable. And if you film on a DSLR like I do, all it has is an eighth inch microphone jack, the little microphone you know, cable that goes into, hang on. All right, so this is an eighth inch microphone cable. This is what all of your video mic, like the NTG and the Video Mic Pro Plus and the Micro and all of those, this is what they use. But more specifically, this is what Canon and Sony DSLRs have to have in the way of audio. Then your higher end mics, like your NTGs, they use something a little more like this. So this is just your standard microphone cable. It's, a, it's what you call a three pin XLR. This is clearly significantly larger than this. This will not plug into your camera. So if you want to use the NTG5 for any reason, you have to have what's called an external recorder. So in my case, I have to run an XLR cable from the NTG5 down the microphone stand across the floor over to an audio interface. Now what that does is it converts the three pin XLR cable to a USB cable that can run to my computer. I run the USB cable to my computer and then I open up a recording software. In my case, I use Ableton Live and I hit record on my computer and my computer is just recording audio. Then I start recording on my camera and then whenever I get done filming the video I have to take the audio that was recorded on my computer the video that was recorded on my camera and I have to sync those up in post so I can still have the audio from this microphone with the audio from my camera it's a little bit of a process it's definitely worth it if you really appreciate the quality of audio that you get from a microphone like the NTG5 but you definitely have to work for it so what I mean by convenience is the video mic NTG takes an eighth inch cable so you just run the cable from the microphone to the camera, and the audio is baked in, no post-production needed. But at the same time, if you like having the convenience of being able to put like a compressor and a gate and a multi-band compressor and things like that on your audio while you're recording like I do, then you're probably going to want to have something like the NTG5. If you were to ask me, neither one is better than the other. They're both really, really good microphones. It all just depends on what you're looking for. Now, the last thing we're gonna discuss is the price. The video mic NTG comes in at $250, which is a bargain. Just to compare, the NTG5 is $499, and then the video mic Pro Plus that I was using earlier, it's $300. So this comes in cheaper than both of those microphones, but if you were to ask me, it's comparable to both of them. And again, this is a microphone that you can use for both vlogging or kind of studio style stuff like what we're doing right now. So if you're wanting to get into YouTube filmmaking or really any sort of filmmaking, this is a great buy. It can't be beat, especially at its price point. I'm gonna call the video there. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed getting a quick look at the video mic NTG. I personally really like this mic. It will most likely end up in my bag from here on out, just as my go-to microphone. I'll continue using the video mic Pro Plus because I really like the sound that I get out of that. And I'll also continue using the NTG5 just because again, it's kind of my favorite mic right now. But the video mic NTG is, whew, it's pretty good. Uh, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe, all those fun things. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a great remainder of your day. Have a happy new year, and I'll plan to see you in the next one. I'll see you there.